Hi guys, welcome to today's Word of Faith. Uh, my name is Albert. Um, I know last week Maxi was wondering where I'd gone. I, although I told him that I'd gone to see someone and uh, that someone was seen, I was also seen. So we thank God that, you know, the seeing went well. Um, I'm reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 13. I'll cross-reference it with one proverb. And uh, we'll get to hear what God has to say for us. Uh, or what God has in store for us today. Uh, Matthew 13, verses 44 and 45. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had, and he bought that entire field. Again, verse 45, the kingdom of God is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away, and sold everything he had, and he bought it. Now, this is a parable that talks about the kingdom of God and uh, the value uh, the kingdom of God has. Um, and what Jesus was telling his audience is that for you to um, receive in the wholeness what the kingdom of God has, uh, that we have to treat it as you know, something that is of utter importance, that, something that we will go and um, you know, uh, look for with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our strengths. You know, it's something of value. Uh, that is what Jesus um, described the kingdom, kingdom of God. And again, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, uh, stumbled upon a very, very uh, popular proverb chapter, in chapter 4, verse 7. And it reads in NIV, get, uh, sorry, sorry, wisdom is supreme. Therefore, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. In a different translation, you'll read it that in all thy getting, get understanding. Now, understanding and wisdom and knowledge, as we read in the book of Proverbs, is synonymous with who God is, and it is synonymous with the kingdom of God. And Jesus describes this kingdom and God himself and even wisdom and understanding and knowledge as something worth selling all you have um, to go get it. It is worth giving all your attention to. If you uh, read with me through uh, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7, it says that though um, you search for everything else, make sure that in all that searching, you also search for understanding. Now in the New, New Living Translation, it says that getting wisdom is the most important thing that you can do, and whatever else you do, get understanding. Now, uh, we are born with intelligence. Um, to that intelligence, we add knowledge when we go to school and uh, we, through studying and learning. And then to that knowledge, we add wisdom when we apply the knowledge and the intelligence that we have. Uh, but there is also another level, which is what we are learning about today, which is understanding. And understanding is what we add to intelligence, knowledge, and wisdom uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit and through applying our faith in what God says. And this is what understanding is. It is knowing the right thing to do. We develop understanding, I read this, that we develop understanding when, underline the word when, we know what to do, know is the knowledge and what to do. Um, so knowing what to do is knowledge. Knowing how to do it is wisdom. But knowing when to do it, that is understanding. Say you're a business person, you're an investment banker, and as you're you know the markets and you know the stocks, so you know how it operates and you get money by knowing how to manipulate those stocks and how to sell, um, how to um, you know, invest in the right stocks. But when that is an understanding of that entire ecosystem and that is what understanding is uh, because you know, someone says that when the reason that sometimes you know investment bankers other investment bankers are poor is because they wake up at 7 a.m. in Kenya when the markets have been open for about five hours in let's say Japan or even in you know in those countries where, uh, where that are ahead of time uh, than we are. Um, even a relationship, you know the person that's knowledge, how to get them that's wisdom, but when to go for them, when to get them, when to engage them, when to marry them, that is what understanding is. 
So what uh, essentially we are learning today is that understanding is um, an application of the knowledge that you have, the intelligence and the wisdom that you, or you already have. And you can only get this understanding by learning uh, through the faith that we get when we, inter when we interact with the Holy Spirit, when we interact with the Word of God. And you can never get understanding without applying your heart to understanding. I pray that this opens, your, open up, op opens up your mind and your um, world to new possibilities, you know, with what understanding can do. So have a good week. And I pray that this has uh, or is going to change your life um, in the next few days or even in the next few months. Be blessed and have a good week.